What's up you guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. Got another great countdown for you guys. As always, thank you for the continued support. We couldn't do it without you. Having an expansive tone library is essential for any budding guitarist. Having different timbres to experiment with may inspire you to play something a little differently, which is why having a variety of pedals at your disposal is vitally important. But you might be thinking to yourself, Marty, I'm a 20 year old kid named Dan from Pennsylvania. I can't just go out and buy a bunch of pedals. Well, don't worry, Dan, none of these pedals break the bank and they're perfect additions to your Amazon wish list. So get that amp out of standby and let's count down the must-have guitar pedals. Phaser pedal. The sweeping tone of a phaser pedal is immediately recognizable. These pedals rose to prominence in the late 70s and have maintained their standing as a must-have pedal ever since. It accomplishes its signature effect by blending the dry signal with an ever so slightly delayed reproduction of the signal, putting it out of phase. It then uses a frequency oscillator to control the sweep of that phase. One of my favorite examples of this effect is Life in the Fast Lane by the Eagles. Chorus pedal. A good chorus pedal adds a certain thickness to an already clean tone. This pedal takes an existing signal, splits it into multiple signals that it affects with slight vibrations and delays. The result sounds like a small group of guitars. You can add just a little bit of the effect to give your instrument a subtle doubling effect or turn it all the way up for an underwater tone. If you wanna just listen to a song that uses this effect, just listen to any rock ballad from the 80s. You'll probably hear it. Reverb pedal. So quite a few amps have this effect built in, but there's nothing quite like having the effect in your pedal board. Yeah, it's convenient to have it in your amp, but some reverb pedals give you more variety than your amp might offer. Most amp reverbs send the guitar signal through a spring, and many pedals that offer reverb use technology that can emulate different kinds of reverbs, like a plate reverb or a chamber reverb. Regardless of what you end up with, a good reverb can add the perfect ambience to your tone and gives your performance a dynamic that it might not have otherwise. Overdrive pedal. Also known as a tube screamer, an overdrive pedal provides players with that classic guitar fuzz. This pedal gets its name because the electronics are driven past their ability to provide a clean tone. It provides guitars with a nice energetic texture that's not as intense as a full distortion, but it still provides a similar effect. The classic Tube Screamer was popularized by the great Stevie Ray Vaughan. Several companies make their own versions of the Tube Screamer that all provide their own version of the classic overdrive. They go great on their own, but can also add extra warmth to an already distorted signal. Wiki wiki wah 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 pedal. For those of you unfamiliar with the wah pedal, it's basically a wide sweeping tone controller. It filters out high and low frequencies as you engage the pedal and adds an amazing expression to your playing. Since this pedal uses active electronics, it can actually boost certain frequencies with a sweep of the pedal. Hendrix's Voodoo Child, Metallica's Enter Sandman, and Bob Marley's Stir It Up all effectively use this pedal, proving that it can be used across a wide array of genres. Are there any pedals that are essential to your collection that you think we missed? Do you really think I was going to talk about a volume pedal? I mean, you should get one of those too. Let us know in the comments section below and make sure you subscribe to this channel right here while you're down there. Thanks again for watching, you guys. We'll see you later.